can save Yona, Vice. It's you, isn't it? No! Stay back! Anyway, take it easy, yeah? This beast a shade as well. No, you've got to stop this. Too hope to stand against.
way, you freaks! I'll kill you all! those things anywhere near you. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. <laughs> oh, and Yona. Y yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it? Oh yeah, you're right, sorry. I actually have been talking this whole time, but I guess OBS just decided, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna forget your microphone setting. That's okay. Thanks. Appreciate you. Also, I'm gonna have to turn the game audio down a little bit so you can hear me. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Well, at least you got an intro to the game without, you know, my shitty commentary messing it up. But that fun part is over. I can press Q for Dark Hand, but I'm not using keyboard. So what is that on the computer? I think the game forgets that I'm using controller whenever I click off of the game. Nope. 
Well, yeah, but also no. Okay, so L1, I guess, is Dark Hand. way easier. What is is there more? Oh, I thought you were you were supposed to be dead. Die. Okay, so I can charge up book abilities while still comboing. That's good to know. It's starting to feel like near. Hold the attack or magic buttons to charge your attacks. Okay. I was already pressing I was already pressing L1 for Dark Fist or whatever. Don't know what this is gonna do, but Oh It does amazing things. I'm guessing you can like change what spell you use in the menu or some shit. I keep forgetting to dodge. Hey, uh, weren't we supposed to be, you know, going to find food? Can we get on that? iframes I get from the dodge. Hard to tell at the moment. Still hard to tell because that dodge didn't even register until I got hit. Alright, let's test this out. That's a lot of iframes. Basically the whole time you're rolling, from what I can tell. it's going to be strong. How long can I charge it for? That long, apparently.
man, I guess this prologue's just gonna grind me all the way up to level 99. That's cool. Saves me some time. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. It moved right when I released. I just don't really have much health. Yoda. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, and a lot of little boys. Okay, that really dealt very little damage. And again, I am playing on hard, so I guess that makes sense. Something tells me the game doesn't fully expect me to beat this guy. Beat this guy. Press roll. Losing my greediness, reward me for my bad gameplay. So it's arm move, I don't trust it. Attack gauges. When fighting large enemies, attack gauges will often appear on specific parts of their bodies. Destroy those parts within the time limit to defeat the enemy. Okay, so like... Oh, I didn't count. I wonder ex how exactly they expect me to do it. If it's through the Dark Lands, I could probably do that. If maybe I could just jump up and attack it. I 
guess I'm gonna have to do this a few times. Okay. You know, just 20 levels, that's, that's normal. I see nothing wrong with that. Level 30 out of the intro cutscene. I'm sure nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> yep, she's still coughing. Jonah, talk to me. Hey, where's that food, dude? It's okay, I'm fine. What about you? Those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow, is that a cookie? I've never seen one before. Here, we can split it. No, you take it. Is it? No. Okay to eat. Too. I mean, looking at how post-apocalyptic. Fine, I'll take looks. the small half. No, come on. You need to keep it up your strength. Might very well be spoiled. <laughs> You're in no condition to talk to somebody else about keeping up their strength. Yoda! Yoda! Oh no. I'm sorry. Not ground germs. That 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 looks normal. Yoda? Why did you? Kind of seems like you two are the only people alive in the area. Now the real question here is, is that snow, oh, yeah. or is that like the salt shit? And I forgot what it was called already. I knew this like a year or two ago. It's called like white something syndrome, but I don't remember the full name. Oh, okay, sure. Just a casual 1400 year time skip to medieval times, of course. What? Alright, I'm heading out. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, is we immortal? Better not. God, imagine probably going hunting. Imagine being immortal, but still also being constantly deathly ill. Oof. No thanks. Just kill me. Okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library. Okay. Yay! Thanks. I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Love you. Oh. Really? Near? I'm just gonna leave that hanging? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
That's that's the kind of guy he is, I guess. Just don't reciprocate to your sister. That's fine. I assume it's his sister. It was his daughter in the American version when he was like the middle-aged guy, but at this age, I think it's supposed to be his little sister. Save progress. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. It was what? It was like vending machines in Automata or something along those lines. It's not that out of the out of place with the series. Hey there. Uh, having having fun? And getting around? It seemed like it seemed like a spry young fella. What's up? Young people always drive themselves forward, but it's important to take a step back and look around sometimes. This says the guy who's unable to drive himself forward, to be fair. Puppy! Morning. I can't pet the puppy. Hey, devil up. Zero out of ten, bad game. You keep running around like that, you're gonna trip and fall on your face. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, but thanks for the warning. There's no better sight than children in high spirits. It makes me feel young just looking at them. know some of the music in this game because I played the DLC songs in Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm to death and back. So there's a few specific tracks that I know back to front. I haven't learned how to open doors yet, or climb ladders. Nier's uh, a special little guy, isn't he? In here? That's not the open door button. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Wait a second. Devola and Popola. Aren't they in Automata, which itself takes place like thousands of years after this game? Mm, that's worrisome. Are they androids? You know, I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Press... whatever that's supposed to be. To view a map of the local area. I don't recognize that button. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I used my last one earlier. Here's some money. Popola, this is way too much. What don't then? complain. Buy some for Yona while you're at it. Just shut up and keep the excess. You don't have to... It's okay. Really. Thanks, Popola. For everything. What's this all about? Just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us. 
We really appreciate it, is all. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other, right? Besides, everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. Uh, you? Oh, hey. Yona? Aren't you supposed to be in bed? Oh, hey. Yona, you're supposed to be in bed. See, now your ribbon's all undone. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd see if the library had any books about how to cure my sickness. If, if it did, don't you think we would have found it by now? Yona. Look, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. I'm just imagining, like, a sort of headcanon that's... that Nier is just really, really stupid, and the thought just never occurred to him to look for books in the library about how to kill her, how to, how to cure her sickness. You just need to eat and rest. If you take good care of yourself, you'll get better. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, I've got work to do, so I need you to head home. Deal? Deal. She says deal, but she didn't listen the last time, so why should I believe her? Seems like people did nothing but write books in the old days, and I can't read them either. They're all written in funny languages. Yeah, they're, it's called English. It's kind of a weird language. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall while plague and disease run rampant. If that wasn't enough, monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. There's no other choice. You know, the year 40, the year 3400 sure is looking a lot like the year 1300. Just saying. To quote a certain blue-skinned evil pope from another franchise, humanity is regressing. Alright, guess we're going out to the field. In before she just one shot me, because I'm playing on hard. Alright, typical lock on stuff. Smack your sheet! Smack it! Is that the only one I need? I can give orders to animals. Okay. Okay, I need three mutton. Okay. More dead sheep coming up. Also, can I get, you know. Can I use some of that money to make some lamb chops for dinner? Because that sounds delicious.
He's dead, Jim. You stop swinging your sword now. I better get this mutton back to the village. Yeah. And we could also get more. They can actually attack. Oh, I see how it is. There. More lamb chops for me for the trouble. Damn. Oh. What are shades doing so close to town? Okay. Man, they have a lot of health. And then again, I did look, I did actually read up on what hard changes about the difficulty. And, uh, starting out, just starting out, enemies have, like, triple the health that they have. And compared to normal. So yeah, enemy's gonna be a bit damage spongy. Get out of here. You die. There is a nice trade-off to it though, in that uh, enemy enemy drop rates are like 50% higher. I had no idea shades were loose so close to the village. I mean, to be fair, they weren't loose, they just materialized. Which kind of makes me wonder how the village is ever safe to begin with. to get this meat to the shopkeeper. Can I can I get bacon? Eh, I have a feeling those pigs aren't mine to kill. Although I didn't try. It's just that there was a guy standing right next to them and I feel kind of bad about killing his pigs just for their bacon. Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and chops are good. This isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. And tell Popola I said thanks, okay? You got it. I think Popola wanted three medicinal herbs. That's not Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. Okay. Health salve is... <laughs> Dude. Why is the health salve... Ten times more expensive than medicinal herb, even though it's only double the effect? Why not just stock up on medicinal herbs and spam them? It's way more economical. Maps sound like a useful thing to get. I'm just gonna get a couple. Come back anytime. We've got some nice material. But I just spent all my money on maps. Thanks. Guess I should have checked the other shops first, huh? Why not fill your garden with flowers? Oh yeah, there's like a farming uh, mini, not, not really mini game, but like side activity that you can do, I think. I One thing I do remember about I playing the original is spending quite a bit of time doing that farming side thing and making a lot of money from it or something. But I don't remember specifics. We've got some new items in stock today. Pumpkin, beans, tomato, eggplant, and wheat. You know, 
can't help but notice the meat soon. that's hanging from your shop isn't on the isn't on the menu. Why not? I, I want I want meat. Oh, is this a weapon store? Am I about to be sad that I spent all that money? Welcome. We've got a wonderful. I am sad. Lily Leaf Sword is a slight improvement. Beast Bane, I think, is a heavy sword. I mean, it does say heavy weight, but like, from what I remember from the from the original, there's like three kinds of weapons. There's like light swords, heavy swords, and spears. I mean, maybe they added more, but that's that's what I remember most from the Thanks for first from the original game. I think I ended up preferring spears in the end. Heavy swords are strong and stun, but they're really slow, and I never really got a feel for them. But I don't know. I don't know if they changed any of how that how the mechanics worked. Something could be better than it was before. I don't know. We'll have to find that out. Again, it's not the door opening button. YMZ, please. But perhaps I expect too much out of a potato. I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Yeah, at first I wasn't sure about Devila and Popola also being in near Automata. I'm like, those names sound vaguely familiar. But then I saw their, like, their trademark chestnut-colored hair, and I'm like, that looks even more familiar than the names sound. Pretty sure they made it a story important appearance in the later parts of Automata's story, but I don't remember enough. It's frustrating. Are they robots? Are we all robots? I just don't know after Automata anymore. Um, you know, it just occurred to me, how, how does, how did these stairs lead over there? That seems like really shitty architecture. I just imagine there's like a long, shallow, winding staircase around the circumference of the house, and that's just, that's not a good way to design anything. Welcome home. How'd it go today? Any puzzles? I just stayed here all day like you told me to. Well, except for that part where you went to the library. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. Have you heard of it? Alright, prediction time. I'm going to tell her a story about a Lunar Tear. She's going to get all excited and it's like, I want to see one! And then I'm going to go off to my first dungeon of the game. Is, is that about right? I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a lunar tear make me better? Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Should we... Should we tell him that some diseases can't be cured? I don't know if I want to break that to him. It's that, or magic portals. Or both. Who knows? It's a Yoko Taro game, it could be anything. Uh, Yona? What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. I know I keep making jabs at Yoko Taro, but... 
honestly, it's all it's all in, it's all in good fun. The guy's storytelling is just top notch, and as a result, I never really know what to expect. And it's always super depressing and sad, and it, it, there's, nothing's ever happy. But in a good way. Okay, I'm off to Populous. See you later. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Okay. He said stay out of trouble, but he, you know, you notice he didn't say don't leave the house. Pressing the evade button to open doors, because that's not how any of this works. So does this does this lady just sit? in front of the- sit in the same chair, the same desk, all day, every day? Is that how it works? Yeah, that's- that's a sad existence. Kappa. Hey, Popola. Need a hand with anything? I do have something, but... I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm sure I can handle it. Aren't you confident? <sighs> Well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the Northern Plains, right? The one where the pillars all rotted out? Exactly. We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. When has that stopped them before? Yes, I know. Apparently it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. Wasn't it sunny yesterday when the shades popped up on our way back? One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it. It could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Fact oh? check true. That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, are you sure you want to take this job? Yep. I got this. If I don't, the story can't move forward. I kind of want to save up some money so I can buy that upgraded light sword before I go out and do all this, though. Do I have anything I can sell? Uh, where was the... Ah, over there. You know, this whole time, I've been wondering why the why the vocals keep fading in and out of this song. And it's because it's coming the vocals are coming from Devola. So when I get near her, the vocals are added to the track. That's actually pretty neat. Oh, hello there. Nice little detail. Welcome. Anything I can sell. Are these good for anything? Uh, we could just sell them. How much is it? 2400 Okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to get that with what I have now, so... Methinks killing some sheep may be in order. If I get lucky, it will drop wool. 
which is a 160 G. Speaking of Devila, what up, girl? I know Yona means everything to you, but don't overwork yourself, right? I know I recognize Devila and Popola's voice actresses, but I can't put my finger on it. How the sheep's looking back at me like I dared you to try and slash me from behind. You're gonna get a hoof in the face. Which is probably what would happen. It happened before. I'm cutting you up. Hmm. That sheep seems different from the others. Oh, that's because it's not a sheep. I, 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 I guess that makes sense. Ten slots in my inventory. That seems really restrictive. I guess I don't have a way to. Like, I guess I don't have a way to check how much my I, I actually check my inventory. You know, like I can check what items I currently have that I can use. Like in battle, but that's it. Picturing the, I'm just picturing tomorrow's newspaper. Local man murders the entire sheep population for a sword.
<laughs> I know, right? I wish I wish I could get more off of them, but I guess that's just the kind of guy that near is. Still one. No. Oh, it's still showing up in the minimap because it hasn't faded yet, I guess. Oh, it looks like all the sheep. Let's see how much money I got from that. Just barely. Let's go. I'll take that thing. That beast bang, though. I do kind of want it, but it's also prohibitively expensive at the moment. Looks like it has kind of a shorter range, but the increased attack power is probably worth it. All right, let's go deal with those shades now. Uh, sick, like every other day. But still, I just uh, still like the cutest thing ever. So there's that. how all the loading screens just have diary entries for Yona. This game's trying super hard to endear you to her. And I'm sure they're not gonna do anything tragic with that later down the line, right? Right, Yoko Taro? You wouldn't do that. Yoko Taro doesn't know the meaning of tragedy. at the right moment to reflect an enemy's attack. Alright. I mean, he died, so... I'll try that as soon as an enemy actually, you know, attacks me. Should take care of the shades for a while. How can how can one tell if that's all of the shades, considering they just materialize out of nothing? I'm 
gonna go ahead and guess that the sheep don't actually give me, like, experience or anything. And they're only good for farming small amounts of money. So I'm just gonna ignore them. I got the main thing I wanted. once, don't worry about it. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. It seems like I heal when I, I level up, so all is a good. Really dangerous situation, and if something had... Popola, look at me. I'm fine. I know, it's just... I'm just relieved is all. Oh, here. Those carpenters left some money for you. Wow, thanks. Go buy something Sweet. nice for them, okay? Go buy a oh, big sword. Got it. Anna, she came by this afternoon. What? She was supposed to stay home. I think it's okay. She just wanted to ask me a question. Why Why is he so intent on her staying cooped up in the house at all times? About what? Why, why not let her walk around the village? She was asking about the outside world. You mean outside the village? Exactly. She seemed excited too. Poor thing was talking a mile a minute. She's probably been getting nutty ideas from some book of him. Don't worry. I made sure to remind her she isn't allowed beyond the gates. Thanks. But she was worried about you. So you'd better hurry home. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. Now, am I actually supposed to go buy something for Yona? Like what? I'm not supposed to, because it's just taking me right back home. Hey, go buy something nice for Yona. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Absolutely. Oh dear. Yona? Where'd she go? Maybe she went to the first dungeon. Maybe she's still at the library. Doesn't look like she's here. I'd better go ask Popola. Don't worry, I'm sure nothing tragic has happened or anything. Not in a near game. Hey, Popola? I can't find Yona. <clears throat> really? You have any idea where she might be? She stopped by earlier today, but that was a while ago. Did she say anything? 
She just asked if I knew where Lunar Tears were. Oh dear. She's so cute. I told her how they used to grow around the Lost Shrine. Oh dear. Why is Yona asking about Lunar Tears? Because you told her about Lunar Tears, you idiot. <laughs> oh crap. Well, what's wrong? Yesterday, I told her that story about how Lunar Tears can make you rich. Oh. Okay, lesson learned. Never tell your little sister anything. Then we got to talking about how keep her as sheltered as humanly possible. To make her better. You don't think she? I think that's exactly what she did. I have to go find her. What's the fastest way to the Lost Shrine? Through the Eastern Gate. Got it. Thanks. Called it. She went to the first dungeon. I have to get to the Eastern Gate. I don't know if fall damage is a thing in this game. What's that? It's shiny. I was gonna pick it up before you interrupted me. Oh, great. I can't believe this. She really went to the Lost Shrine. She's in trouble. I don't want to kill you guys for money. Sorry. Because that meat is 160 a pop. Not a lot, but it adds up a little bit. Dang, this sword upgrade is putting in work already. I think these things took like five or six hits to kill before. Now they die in three. Ooh, goat hide. Maybe that sells more for me more than meat. Sure are rocks. Look at this rock slide. There's no way Yona could have made it past here. Man, maybe she went up that very conspicuous ladder over there. Maybe she found some other way in. Yeah, like that very conspicuous ladder over there. When I was gonna climb up before you decided to look at rocks. looks neat. Sure is big for a shrine, though. Then again, I still have, uh, I still have Ghost of Tsushima shrines on the brain, so I'm picturing, like, just those little small things at the top of those mountains, at the top of, like, mountains and shit.
That was a nice way to lead up to the dungeon. That long zoom out. Anything lootable? Yes. Well, that doesn't look like a bottomless pit. Oh, okay. I can't jump in there. It's probably an elevator that I activate later on. There's not really much to do other than start climbing. Oh, what's this? Hey, I'll take that. Am I going to get a compass too? Oh, sorry, wrong series. Looks like it should be. You should be able to jump on it, but you just can't. Also, things looking a little bit modern here. Metal shelves with cardboard boxes and aluminum cans. Those are definitely time period appropriate and not at all odd. Oh, can I not? I can't carry any more medicinal herbs. Okay. Phrasing. I wonder if that opens that door over there. Yep. Shades here too. She'll never make it out of here. I'm not sure I'm really I'm ready to go into the gauntlet. There, I think there's still things to look for. Maybe. Maybe not. But also maybe. Eh, I'll have a closer look around. Freaking arbitrary invisible walls. Looks like there is indeed nothing else to do but go through the go through, go through the doors. Frame rate. Oh god. 
What is going on? And it's back. Okay. Sure are uh, polite. They just kind of wait for me to kill the other ones before they do anything. kind of telling myself, I'm not gonna use Medicinal Herb until after the battle to see if I level up and recover for free. Didn't happen. Okay. Looks like another set of locked doors here, maybe? maybe? Or not so long. thankful that the parry timing window seems pretty generous. Then again, these are the most basic enemies and their attacks are very slow, so... It might not remain that way. It's very easy to see when they're going to attack. Another herb, just to not be at the cap. Okay, I guess there wasn't anything but just a bunch of enemies in here. I want to see what's out here before I start going through the doors. Wow! It's fucking nothing! I guess I'll go through the doors. These rooms are conspicuously empty. It knocks them down if I hit them with it. I 
Alright, up to Daisy. Nirvana dagger. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess the game thinks of it as like the first weapon upgrade, but I already bought a better weapon, so yeah. I don't know what it means when those enemies start steaming, but I don't like it. That really was, uh, very generous. Oh, when they're steaming, it's because they're standing in sunlight and they're, they they can't do that. So I'm guessing it damages them or makes them take more damage from my attacks or something along those lines. Okay, so that's a good thing for me. Turns out, I do like it when they steam. Okay. This pile of rubble, you can jump on. Okay, got it. Thanks, game. That makes sense. All those other piles? No. See, you can't even roll along this. What do you think this is? But, but this? No, this is... That's fair game. Also... Can I even reach anything from up here? Is there a reason? To climb the rubble? Doesn't look like it. I block that. Maybe I can't block if I'm facing away from the attack. Take that, thank you. Surprise, motherfucker. These guys are getting pretty easy to take care of. Ah, uh, let's wait on that. There we go. Oh, come on. I got stunlocked. Rip. Okay, so generally a bad idea to be surrounded by enemies. Got it. And I don't have iframes when counterattacking, apparently.
Uh, where'd you go? No, my counter! I was trying to see if I could get up to 100 hits. Too bad that's the only chance I'll ever get in the game to get that high. And I wasted it. Like you can get outside from here. That sure is a nice texture. Thanks for showing it to me. <laughs> In very close detail. I guess this is just here to fill up my stock if I need to. I'm down. Save points. I'm guessing this is kind of like the final stretch of the dungeon. Not quite at the boss yet. It's like, just gotta get to this floor, which probably has some encounters. something I can't actually do anything with yet. Okay. Push and hold blocks. For what purpose? Where would I be trying to get? Up there? That ladder's broken. I could probably get up there if I had something to stand on. Man, too bad there's nothing like that around here. Just checking to see if there's anything else I could do before doing this. We Zelda now. Let's go.
before I head into the into that room, though, I saw the ladder over here. Wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. Wonder for more medicinal herbs or drop off <laughs> out of nowhere. That that could happen too. In which case, I would have to go around, you know, all the way back around like a jackass. But the devs wouldn't do that to me, would they? Still haven't taken any fall damage. So if there is fall damage, it's from a higher height than I've seen so far. Alright, boss time, let's go. Yoda! Why don't you just come here for a nap? You could have done that at home, you little girl. Is it with these things? I like how the music playing right now is just the same track that's been playing throughout the whole dungeon, but with added layers to it because it's like the last encounter in it. That's pretty. That's a pretty good touch. I don't have time for this. I have to save Yona. Uh, is it book time? I think it might be book time. Give her back! Get out of my way! Give my sister back! To fight y'all. No, they seem pretty cool. Demon, kill it! For the love of all that is holy, would you please stop pounding me? That's what she said. Then move! Yoda! By the heavens! I have never been treated in such a manner. I am a being of incalculable importance. And yet you approach me as a common cockroach. Yoda, say something! Yoda! Yoda! <sighs> this is why I love demon people. Now see here. I admire your pluck. One young man going to alone against impossible odds. Come on, Yona! But such a plan incredibly foolish. You stand Not the same. in the presence of ancient wisdom. I am a text of the darkest, most arcane type. And I could be of great assistance to you. You're what? Indeed, He's I a talking book. These mindless creatures like mere flies were I so blind. <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to their knees. Cool story, bro. I will grant you one final chance. Bow your head and accept my power. Or go it alone and fail. Alright, I think that's the end of the dialogue. Let's get him! There. So how do we save Yona? Once I destroy these shades, the magic barrier preventing your passage should simply disappear. You can really do that? <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to that knees. Yeah, you already said that. Then do it already, Vice! 
you will refer to me by my full and proper name. Ain't no one got time for that. Keep coming. You should not have turned your blades on me, foul creature. With a single word, I, Grimoire Pies, shatter the very universe itself. I'm gonna be dead by the time you stop your monologue. Prepare to... Oh dear? It seems that the frantic bludgeoning you gave me earlier has caused my memory to escape me. Uh, are you for real? Sorry? You are not nearly as helpful as you claim to be. I'm assuming I can't do anything with him yet, because I don't actually have like a magic meter or anything. Do I just wail at the wall, or...? Guess not. Okay. Pew pew pew! Did you just suck the blood out of those things? I don't think that checks out. Blood, blood is not sound. You all right, Vice? Hang in there. It would seem I can regain my powers by defeating these monsters. Is this magic? Magic indeed. This is the true power of Grimoire Pikes. Hold on, Yona. I'm coming. Delicious blood? Yes. Is that all of them? Pew pew pew! Oh, I am gonna have to fight them, aren't I? Okay. Our task is going to be more difficult than I first envisioned. Look at this foolish creature's charge heedlessly into battle. Still, dealing with both of them at once may prove to be a daunting task. Yeah, a little bit. Talking book and moving statues? Really? This is all too real, lad. Keep your sword high. You don't say. That sounds bad. That's a charge attack. Okay. To both weapons and magic. Like I said, bad. That said, the enemy cannot move so long as the barrier is in place. Focus your attacks on the other. You don't say. Rip. Wait, where'd my uh? Where? Where did my item menu go? Oh. Okay. Beat their attack patterns. Their sword attack is not to be trifled with. The man who keeps his head in the fight is the one who emerges victorious. They changed again? Yeah. Keep your distance. Let your matches do the work here. But I deal more damage with my melee. 
it out of its misery. The creatures move with surprise. They can replenish their energy if we grant them the time to do so. This is madness. Fight like a one-legged chicken. Rude. Can you maybe be quiet for a second? And now, put it out of its misery. Ooh, careful there. <laughs> Learn the pattern of its shots and finish it off. I've got my hands full just dodging. Is this more of your power? It would seem so. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I only have two at the moment. Something tells me that melee is not a good idea at this point. <laughs> so, I mean, it still works if I have nothing else I can do. Poorly timed. Poorly timed again. fuck up. I only have so many options available to me at the moment, alright? I'm gonna need to take that lit from a book. Take heed! The one horn statue is gone berserk. Got What does that even mean? Is it gone haywire? You just said that, yeah. So, uh, why, why can't I just do that normally? In the eye. Go 
I do try not to hit you know though. So much. I only have so much magic, though. Again, though, because I don't have a whole lot of. You should try succeeding next time. Fuck, fucking book, shut the hell up. How about that? Trouble, young lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to help. I'm the one who's sorry. You must have been scared out of your mind. Are you okay? I uh, think maybe we shouldn't talk. We'd best depart. Mm -hmm. The shrine's about to collapse. Come on, Yona. Let's go. Why is it about to collapse, though? Because reasons, I guess. Yo. 
are faster than I thought. I tried. I really did. But I couldn't find a lunar tear. I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to make you rich and get rid of this disease. I swear, stopping kids from getting themselves killed is a full-time job. Don't worry about... Jonah? What's going on? Oh, nothing. It's just a normal rash. Don't worry about it. Perfectly fine. Nothing going on. She has the black scroll. Yeah. When did this happen? The weird coughing started about a month or so ago. The disease curses the afflicted with strange runic symbols that gradually spread over the entire body. And I fear it is fatal. Yeah, I know. Oh, Yona. Come. It's best to let us sleep. It may be a cocky thing, but at least he has information. This is so unfair. Yona hasn't done anything. Why do terrible things keep happening to us? I would because Yoko Taro. So. Yoko Taro doesn't let good things happen to people. It's just not his jam. She's just a little kid. She doesn't deserve this. I don't even know why I'm going to Popola, but... I oh, I was gonna say I don't have anything directing me anywhere, but now I do? Now I apparently do. Oh, is it Devola? You're back. I was worried about you. I heard you went through the Eastern Gate and... Wait, is that a book? Yeah, it won't shut up. You want it? Yeah, it's... Now see here, I am Grimoire Vice and you will treat me with the proper respect. Wait, you're Grimoire Vice? Oh, that is so cool. Hold on, what? You know him? Of course. He's the white book I was just singing about. Oh, is that what you're singing about? Because it just sounded like a bunch of gibberish, really. He's in your song? Yeah, the Song of the Ancients. It's an old tune that's been passed down through generations of villagers. It's in a forgotten language, so I doubt you could make much sense out of it. Do you know what it means? Well, it's not like I studied it or anything. But I can tell you bits and pieces. There's this terrible black book that shows up and starts spreading disease all over the place. You seem to have a dog that's a little too interested in what's between your legs. But then this white book appears and saves the world and everyone's happy. You know how it goes. What is it? Uh, it's nothing. Well, I found the white book. So how exactly does this white book save the world? It's just a song, yeah? I don't really know the details. Oh. Aw, don't be sad. Uh, look, why don't you go ask Popola? She's got a big brain, maybe she knows something. That's a good idea. Thanks. Uh, yeah, th thanks, Camper. Panning the camera to show me where Popola is. Like, you haven't already directed me to her, like, four or five times up until now. A black book. And a disease. Is something the matter? No, I was just thinking. I heard about Yona. I... I don't know what to say. 
I'm so sorry. Well, maybe you can help. What do you know about the song the devil I was singing? Wait, is that Grimoire Vice? That's what he keeps telling me. You know Vice? Finally. Someone who appreciates quality when they see it. Yes, well, the song of the ancients. Let's see. When the great black book, Grimoire Noir, brings calamity upon the world. The white book, Grimoire Vice, will appear with his sealed verses. He will then use them to vanquish Grimoire Noir and purge the calamity he wrought. Or so the legend goes. What's a sealed verse? No such records remain, so I can't say for sure. But they seem to resemble some form of magic. That's it. Uh, what is? So the song says Grimoire Vice purchased the world of this calamity, right? And he does so using these sealed verses. Oh, and you believe the matter I infused in the shrine is one of these sealed verses? Exactly, Vice. With your power, we can cure Yona. Guys, don't get too excited. This is just some old legend. Yeah, well... Part of that old legend is now permanently floating above my head and constantly talking to me, so... That sounds like some, we got something to go on, at least. Hey, Vice was just some old legend yesterday, but here he is. And if he's real, the rest of it must be too. He can cure the Black Scrawl. I know he can. Do we know anything regarding the whereabouts of this Grimoire Noir? Um... I saw it briefly 1,400 years ago. Sorry, but there's nothing about that in any of the records. All I can say for sure is that there are a number of sealed verses out there. Also, it appears the shades you fight in these verses are intrinsically linked. Then we'll go kill every shade we can find. No, that's far too dangerous. What an absurdly reckless plan. So I should just sit around and do nothing while Yona suffers? I don't think so. But... Uh, well, it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this, so... I've heard the Shades are gathering near a village called the Airy. It's past the bridge on the Northern Plains. They should be done with the repairs by now. I marked it on your map for you. Maybe you could find one of the sealed verses there. We shall see. Once you arrive, be sure to speak to the village chief. He lives in the house up on the highest point in the area. Got it. Good luck. And be careful. Nier <laughs> really just got hit in the head and is now imagining the flying talking book. Oh dear. Permanent hallucinations is a bad sign. Is that a side quest up there? Hey there! You mind giving me a hand with this? Sure. What's up? Popola asked me to organize her bookshelves, but it's kind of a big job. I'm hoping you can take care of a few of them. Here. This book goes in the second shelf from the left, on the east side of the second floor. Second shelf from the left, on the east side of the second floor. Okay. So what, uh, here? Here's the spot. The first book is all set. Thank you. Now take this book to the third shelf from the right, on the south side of the first floor. <laughs> it is your book, I wouldn't put it past him. You just have had near die in that room and everything else is just in his mind. Yeah, it's true. It's a good point. Oh shit, what did that say? Hey, Vice? Yeah, it's like... 
Aren't you all powerful? Can't you just, you know, use magic to zap this place into shape? The infinite power of Grimoire Vice is not to be used for such trivial tasks. This isn't trivial. You are the one so enamored with hard, honest work. I think he's just using that as an excuse. Here we are. Of course I could, but I'm too good for that. Mm, he really can't, can he? The second book is back. Oh, wow. That's a huge load off my mind. Anyway. Sweet. Free money. Anybody else got something important to say? Perhaps money to give me? The side quest speech bubbles do seem to pop up from pretty far away, so I don't think any of them have anything. Haven't seen more than a couple hours of this game. I think I, I must say that song I think I got through like the second ending the on the original before I moved on to something else, but I really don't remember much. Yeah, it's a real toe tapper. Wait, do you even have toes? Does it look like he have toes? Anybody else? Now the game's opening up a bit, I think I should probably keep, start keeping keeping an eye out for those speech bubbles. Can I swing? Nope. <laughs> I sure can't. How was I supposed to know I couldn't swim? Yep. Oh, thank the gods you're here. We've got trouble. What kind of trouble? There's a wild boar in the northern plains who started attacking villagers. Bacon, you say? The victims all made it Say no more. But who knows if we'll be so lucky next time. So you want me to go take care of it? Yes, I will be sh Do it. Sounds good to me. Oh, and a word of advice. Once you kill it, make sure you take a boar tusk. You know, so we can sell it on the black market in the ivory trade. Let's just say it'll come in handy. Hey there. Uh, is something... Yeah, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Listen. You know about the chickens we keep in the village, right? Lately, their eggs have been disappearing. At first, I thought it was a thief, but now I think the hens are just hiding. Oh, sorry, I got really hungry. The village really needs those eggs. I need you to find the hiding spots and bring me an egg. That work for you? These chickens sound pretty smart. Yeah, they're clever little buggers. Anyway, just ask around. I bet someone in town will have an idea where to look. And will they have a quest speech bubble above their heads? Because that'd oh, be helpful. Oh, hello! What perfect timing! Can I ask you to go buy something for me? Holy crap! There's a lot of side quests. Sure. What do you need? I need three tulip bulbs. They only sell them in Seafront, so it'll be a bit of a hike. Do you often get asked to handle such inane shopping trips? I don't think these trips are inane. Yona and I survive on the wages I earn from these jobs. Everyone has it tough around here, but they still manage to give me work. Honestly, I'm grateful for it. I see. Well then, keep up the good work. I will. <sighs> you are a sight for sore eyes. Could I ask you to handle some work for me? Sure, what's up? Could I ask you to move your lips a little bit? My children want to eat mutton every night, and I keep running out. 
And I certainly don't have time to hunt a bunch of sheep. Look, it takes like me ten three minutes. I'll pay you higher than market value. How's that sound? You got my attention. Sounds great. I'll be right back. How dare you make me hunt down goats? They're not goats. They're sheep. Goats give like something goats. else. They're totally different. The white fluffy ones are sheep, and the scrawny hairy ones are goats. People are different as well, yet you're all just called humans. Yeah, yeah. Chicken eggs? I saw one hidden in the shadows once. Uh, that really doesn't narrow it down. There are shadows everywhere. Unhelpful. Please get that button. Okay. You're looking for chicken. Oh, uh, that. Thankfully, quest related uh, NPCs are notated on the screen. Rather than the gray darts gray dots, they're the little like white ring dots. Hey, you got a moment? Because I've got some work for you. If it's paid work, I'm all ears. <laughs> Fair enough. Listen, my grandmother is running low on medicine and I need you to gather some ingredients. I need three medicinal herbs, three berries, and three royal ferns. You may have to leave the village to find some of it, though, so I hope it's not too much of a bother. No problem. I'll do it. I'll be right back. Oh my god, I can be famous? Oh shit. Hi, Debla. Whoa, wait, wait. You're actually going to go find the sealed verses? Yeah, got nothing better to do. Yes. But that's crazy town. Do you have any idea how hard that's gonna be? About as hard as hard difficulty. Doesn't matter. I'd do anything for Yona. Is there really nothing that can cure the Black Squall? No medicine in the works of man can hope to stand against it. There has to be something out there. Perhaps a drug exists to temporarily ease the pain, but none can truly eradicate the disease. <sighs> but if the legend is true, then I hold the key to saving your sister. You're right. We're gonna save Yona and cure the Black Scrawl. That's the spirit, lad. Mm, looks like Devla has a quest marker on her now. Hey there. Want to let a girl buy you a drink? Uh, I'm not old enough to drink, Devola. Also, isn't it morning? <laughs> when the sun never sets, what difference does it make? Ah, never mind. You'll understand when you get older. I do love this tavern, though. It's the nerve center of the whole village. Folks come here to relax, or swap stories, or even look for work. Come back whenever you have a free minute. That didn't sound like it was quest related at all. I've been cheated. than anything. Is that Michelle Ruff? Sounds like Michelle Ruff. The damn floodgates keep breaking down. Fix them, fix them, but they just refuse to stay in place. Mm. 
hier. Tulip bulbs, but that's in a different town. Need one more berry and then three royal ferns. And I don't know if I can actually get royal ferns in town. Let me go check with the florist, but I don't think so. That might be the thing that she was talking about me having to find outside. I haven't seen someone trying to make me famous for a while now. I mean, yeah. I mean, why would somebody want to try to make me famous if I already done it myself? Let's talk about wasted effort. Welcome. We've got a wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for your support. <laughs> We've got some nice material. Yeah, I can get one more berry. But uh, the other... The, the ferns are Dang. probably gonna have to cover them outside of town. Let look at it. Make sure you... Come back anytime. Why not fill your... I hope you grow some real... Alright, well, let's head outside of town and see if I can't find some of those ferns and kill the boar while I'm at it. Also, hi. The chickens in this village like to lay their eggs in high places for some reason. Maybe that'll help you find where they're hidden. Hmm, maybe we should check out the fountain by the library. Alright. Seen fountain. I mean, that's a fountain, but it's not really by the library. It's kind of in the middle of town. Hey, come on, let's play. Sorry, I've got work to do. Certain there's no fountain inside. Got pixels emotes again. That pop thing is adorable. The comfy one's nice too. Although I think my favorite of the comfy things you've shown me is the Rue Comfies doing a little blanket dance. So cute. I'm not exactly sure what Nier's talking about now when he says fountain near the, near the library. I mean, that's the only fountain I know of, and it's not exactly in a high place, so I don't see why that would help me. That was 
not even anybody here that can give me a hint. There's no better sight than children in high spirits. It makes me feel young just looking at them. The chickens in this village like to lay... Hmm. Maybe we should check out the fountain by the way. Like, maybe it's up here? They've been so hard to find. That's not high up, but I've been lied to. <laughs> no, am I only supposed to find one egg? Just the one. Here, I have an egg. Want hey, it? Hey, I found an egg. Oh, that's great. It was behind the broken wall by the fountain. I guess they like hiding them in shadowy, out-of-the-way places. Well, that's the first place I'll look next time. Here's your payment. Thanks again. Cool. Alright, now we leave town. Get ourselves some bacon and sausage. Hey, do you have time to take this parcel to the airy? A friend of mine helped me out, and I want to give him something special. Me as well. The story's having me go there anyway. I don't like the word fragile. Sure thing. Oh, and this is really fragile, so you need to be careful, okay? Don't go rolling around or getting knocked over Shit. or anything like that. You'll need to take it to the chief's house in the area. It's the house at the highest point in the village. Well, I guess I'm not going to be fighting that boar. Hey, can I ask a favor? I'm currently on duty, and I need someone to relay a message for me. I ordered some training weapons from the blacksmith's wife, but they still haven't arrived. Can you go to the shopping district and ask her to send them over? Thank you so much. Please give the blacksmith's wife my regards, will you? Mm, there's not anything illicit going on between you and the blacksmith's wife, is there? Hmm... Gate says he ordered some weapons from you. Any idea where they are? Oh, you know, I did have an order for that, huh? I completely forgot. Thanks for the reminder, dear. Here's a little something for the trouble. Wow, that was the easiest 500 gold ever. Looks like Devila has something new to say. job should I give you first? I mean, there's only, there's, there's only one. I think Popol is still suffering from that stupid cold. Can you go check on her for me? I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. I know where to find Popol, though, thanks. You go for the cancel job, of course. It's... Highly lucrative in this, in this day and age. Well, I guess before I do any other side quest, I need to deliver this parcel, because 
from what it sounds like, I can't even really fight or even dodge roll until I get rid of it. So, I guess that's top, my top priority now. Sheep hunting. There really is no task too immodest for you. Hey, sheep are tasty. Hey, it's harder than it sounds. They're really squirrely and they run away fast. So smite them with magic. Aha! Uh -huh. What is it? Shahid? No, you're right. If I use magic, I don't have to get close. Might I make another suggestion? What? Do not yell like a madman every time you come to a realization. You can save Yona, Vice. Heck, maybe you can save the whole world. Can I, though? I wonder. I guess I won't use you for kindling after all. You really should treat omnipotent magical beings with more respect. But this is more fun. Go away. Shoot. Yeah, I do like Vice's... Vice's voice. That's fun to say. Vice voice. What's all this then? It appears to be deserted. It sure does. Kine? I don't think it was her in the original, was it? I mean, I, I'm familiar with Laura Bailey's voice, and I... That's not what Kaine sounded like before. <laughs> hey, any chance I could just mosey on in here and just, just get this delivery and go away? I think they're all new for this one. Probably. Although Vice sounds like Vice. Liam did a good job of uh, capturing Vice. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? I'm guessing it's going to involve ladders and bridges. How much you want to bet? Go away. Is anyone even here? You don't trust your kind. Eh? Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's why he sounds like it. Okay, while I'm safe, let me look at the route I'm gonna have to take to get there. You son of a bitch. I think we broke something. Well, there is little point in finishing the delivery now. Let's go back to apologize. Yeah, I guess. Just fucking appearing out of nowhere, just just to ruin my day.
Okay. So, can I go back and pick the quest up again, or is it permanently failed? Because if it's permanently failed, I might reload. I guess I might as well. I did just get through saving. Literally just materialized in front of me, took a pot shot, and smack. I'm mad. I'm salty. Oh, okay, I could skip that. Good to know. This is a weird place for the village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. Let me pass, please. Thank you. I wasn't sure if the things that just loaded in were things that shoot bullets or not, but they don't appear to, so I just I should have just kept running. Shooting bullets slows me down and that's why I got hit. What a great quest. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? I wonder why I'm not drawing my sword this time. He did it automatically the other times. Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. God 
damn it. Oh, crap. That did not sound good. I think we broke something. Well, there is little point in finishing the delivery now. Let's go back and apologize. Yeah, I guess. Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed versus. Hmm. I wonder if I can just jump and air dash past that last little group. Air dashing is technically dodging, so I'm not sure if that would count towards breaking the package or not. I could test that real quick. Does not appear to. Alright. Looks like we have a bit of a plan. Although, Jesus Christ, those, uh, those things popped up out of nowhere and came in swinging as soon as they materialized. I barely had time to even register what was this happening. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? Is anyone even here? I don't trust your kind. Oh, I jumped right into that. Oh my god. I threw. I had it. I knew that I knew that guy was a, was a bullet shooter and not a melee dude. I, I jumped right into his bullets anyway. Okay, so indeed. Ground dodge does break it. I was just m mainly checking that, which unfortunately means, which unfortunately means that I'm gonna have to just let my sprint build up over time by running. This is a weird place for a village. How are we supposed to reach the chief's house? I don't know why he called, drew his sword that time, but not the other times. I'm not very sure what triggers it. Is anyone even here? We don't trust your kind. What does that even mean? What do you mean, my kind? Are you racist? Excuse me. Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed versus. 
you just like her. Like Kindly. I don't even know who that is. This appears to be a glorious waste. This Made it! Let's go. Who goes there? Uh, well, we're... Be gone, strangers. Wait, listen to... Leave this village at once and never return. No. You're gonna take this package and you're gonna like it, okay? What a pathetic bunch of rebel. Hello, sir. I have a package for you. Right here. Me? Yes, God. Just leave it to go. Uh, okay then. I'll just leave it right here. Yes, that counts as him accepting it. I'll go tell the client we're done. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. Yay! I roll. Verses would never be All right. found in such a place. Now it's time yeah. to fuck these guys up. Let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting a two hitter. Really, bro? Okay, to explain what happened there, I went to go parry, uh, I got hit by the little guy, and I did not know this at the time, but when you get hit, you face towards the thing that hit you, so I tried to parry the big guy, but my back was turned to it because I got hit by the little guy. Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about the sealed versus. She's just like her, like kindly. Mm -hmm. So, what's the status of that quest? This appears to be a glorious waste of time. This must Who go there. Wait. What? A... Hello, sir. Nice. I could just I can just turn it in immediately, oh, yes, and there are no shades. Except... Sweet. It would appear there are no powerful shades here. Sealed verses would never be found in such a place. Yeah. Let's go talk to Popola and figure out a new plan. Oh, they appear behind me. Okay. Item drop rates, nice. Dude, I swear I'm parrying this dude, but it's not working. Something I'm quickly learning about hard difficulty is never get surrounded if you can avoid it. Why can't I parry anything all of a sudden? I was doing so well up until now. Well, one of the reasons. Because their attacks are really fast.
two. So I guess we're just heading back to town now. Item drop rate two percent. Yeah, why not? They suck, but they're better than nothing. Marginally. Not exactly sure how physical strength improving on evading works. Sounds kind of nonsensical, but I don't know. Maybe it makes sense in some context. Well, uh, damn shame. Bye, weird guys. She's done for. I'm leaving. Come on. Yo, free heal. Let's go. Alright, see you later, Saika. Sleep well, my dude. I'm probably not too far off from ending the stream myself. Fucking don't get around. Well... Oh, I was supposed to press the wrong button. I'm smart. Request thing out of the way, thank God. Also, I really lucked out at the end there. And I died, and then it turns out that the uh. What the heck is that? 
that there was an autosave right there at the end of the bridge. And when you load there, the enemies aren't loaded, so I can just turn it in immediately. That was lovely. Looks like a lay. Nice flowers. Those are Luna Tears, legendary flowers of almost perfect beauty. I'm rich, bitch! You're kidding. Those are the ones I told Yona about. Hands off the flowers. But... Money. Uh, Vice, why is that lady in her underwear? Great question. I fear we have greater issues to deal with. Man, that's Laura Bailey. She sounds completely different than her normal roles. Wait, is she a shade? Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting this. This is Kaine, by the way. Okay. She's not attacking. This woman oh, is now she's attacking. talking about So fast. Did we get her? Oh, is that it? Um, nice butt crack. Heck! My, my headed pages! The girl wields magic!
Oof. Ah, oh, she's about to hit me. Ooh, I can charge three now. And then whiff two of them because I didn't wait for an opportunity. So strong. Hmm? What's that? Who that? Oh. Hi. You're a you're a big shade. Also, what are what are those dangly things? Do I want to know? Well, shit. Come on, are you serious? What the heck is going on here? Stay out of my way! He's mine, you idiots! It would appear we are not the first of our anger. No, it's not. I should probably heal up. Okay, I gotta jump over that. Shockwaves! Hold back until we have a chance to approach. He's not really giving me much openings. I kind of feel like I'm just serving as a distraction while kind of fights him. <laughs> Which I guess is fine. I'm oh, almost halfway to killing the first arm. They're like little turrets. This one is like nothing you've encountered before. Ready, your guard. Die, 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 die! I'm gonna pull out your 
I swear, it feels like it stomps a little faster than I can jump an air dodge. Maybe I shouldn't rely on that so much. Covered hell. I just noticed that. A lot of health, too. Yeah. All right, what you got for me now, buddy? Stomping again, I guess. Oops.
go, let's go. Is that all? Did we did it? That's a normal way to react to getting punched. <laughs> that looked like Black Scrawl. Disappearing. Huh? Is she human? This one has been possessed by a shade. She exists as neither fully human nor other. I feel bad for treating her like one of those things. We have to help her. Um, yeah, right. You're awake. You. Me. I'm sorry we attacked you. We thought you were a shade. No, you're half right. Now get the hell out of here. I'll see here. We made our apologies and came to your aid. The least you can do is grace us with your name. It's okay, Vice. She's probably just exhausted. My name's Kane. Ah, the name we heard back in the village. Look, nothing good is gonna happen if you stick with me. So do like I said and go. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Yeah? That monster back there? It's mom. Stay the hell away from it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't... A half human and a giant shape. I didn't plan on fighting it in the first place. It just kind of showed up. She's really intense. <laughs> that's, that's the word for it, yeah. She is a very angry person. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, it's going to be about that time. We met the next major character in the story, in Kaine. I'm sure she's not going to be important to anything at all whatsoever. Absolutely zero chance. Jokes aside, um, I'm going to be coming back again with this tomorrow. Picking up where I left off. And Wednesday and Thursday is going to be... It's going to be Octopath Traveler. And since I'm having PS4 troubles at the moment, I haven't decided what I'm going to replace Friday and Saturday with. I'll just have to play that by ear. But... Uh, I'll have to make a decision before then. But for now, I'm going to bid everybody good night. And so, as always, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, my dudes.